Target's new strategy to bring in customers hit the bullseye. The Minneapolis-based retailer reports big growth in its stores. As Reg Chapman explains, the second quarter report is well beyond Wall Street's expectations. The overall retail sales in the economy is up somewhere north of 5%. So that's your benchmark. Minneapolis-based Target surpassed that benchmark, announcing 2018 second quarter sales increased by 6.5%. That's the best for Target in 13 years. If you look at the economy, it's all turned around this last year, and you're starting to see those results in individual store results. Carlson School of Management professor George John says the country's thriving economy is behind a lot of the sales growth retail stores like Target are seeing. He also wants to give Target credit for reinvesting in its stores. Even if the economy grows, if you're a retailer and you don't have your pulse, you don't get the sense what the retail customer wants, you can get left behind. The competition is ferocious. So I give them all the credit for reinvesting in their core business which is in-store sales. Loyal Target customers say they notice the changes inside the stores. I think Target just retails better than anyone. You go in that store and you think everything's sexy. You just want to buy it. You have to have something, even though you didn't know you needed it. They re-renovated all the stores. They laid things out differently. So you can't go straight to the cash register anymore. <laughs> you have to zigzag through and buy five other things that you don't need. Professor John says that Target's main challenge is online. In order to compete with giants like Amazon, Target must stay relevant, refresh stores, and its merchandise. John says you can bet that Target will work its magic to increase its online sales. He expects this earnings trend to continue through the end of the year. Brad Chapman, WCCL, 4 News.